BANGLADESHS opposition has condemned what it has called a farcical election and demanded a no vote. Earlier results show Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's party in the lead, and she is likely to win a large majority. But there have been claims of vote rigging, and WBC correspondents are filled ballot boxes at a polling center before polls opened. We urge the Election Commission to avoid this farce and result immediately. Opposition leader Kamal Hussain said. The Bangladesh Election Commission told Reuters news agency that it had heard vote-rating allegations from across the country and would investigate. At least 70 people have been killed in clashes between ruling party supporters and the opposition. Yagita Limaye, BBC News. Dark up. As we went from polling booth to polling booth, one pattern became clear: people who were supporters of Prime Minister Hasina's party were vocal and happy to answer our questions on camera about what issues they do voted on. The others were mostly too scared to speak out. One man told us that several members of his extended family found. That their laws had already been cast when they went to the polling booth. He said he did not think it was a fair election, but did not want to be identified. It was not hard to see why he felt intimidated. Outside every polling booth we went to, there were dozens of workers from the prime minister's party listening intently when anyone was interviewed. No one from the opposition parties was visible. While the election commission has said it will investigate claims of vote rigging, the organization has itself been accused of bias by the opposition. So far, the prime minister has not responded to this latest allegations. But two days ago, rejected claims the election was unfair. It is widely anticipated that her party will win the polls, but it will be a controversial victory. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Huawei's chief finance officer Meng Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shenyang Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Henan Province said it would waive the $9.465 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Meng, who was given bail in Canada. Faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has upped tensions with China. Use Huawei phones. Shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shenyang Park's social media account said, "We wish friends around the world whose part Huawei success and bliss." The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported. But it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way for owners are being offered other enticements too. They can get a 20% discount at a board in Beijing. Seen in Beijing, bring a who are way for and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday. HTTPS T. Qxl19ypqlpic Twitter Comsogrelof End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer, offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors allege Ms. Man, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on her own between 2009 and 2014. They also allege she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Ms. Man. Who is the daughter of Hu Awei's founder? Has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations.
Life of Hu Awai's High Flying Arrows. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Ms. Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive since her arrest. Two Canadians, a former diplomat, under business mind have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against Ms. Man if it would serve national security interests or help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made which is a very important thing, what's good for national security? I would certainly interview if I thought it was necessary, he told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition process. Are you set for ends other than the pursuit of justice? Foreign Minister Christie of Finland said, a popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer, Meng Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.40 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Hu Awa phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain, a notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, we wish friends around the world, who support Huawei's success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported, but it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way phone owners are being offered other enticements to They can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. Seen in Beijing, bring a Who are way phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday, HTTPS. T. Q-U-X-L-1-9-Y-P-Q-L-P-I-C, Twitter, com soccer Lof, end of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G, at least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, a large misman, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on Iran between 2000 and May and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Ms. Man, who is the daughter of Hu Awe's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Hu Awe's High Flying Arrows The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and Millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Ms. Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. 
China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive since her arrest. Two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against this man if it would serve national security interests or help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made, which is a very important thing, what's good for national security? I would certainly intervene if I thought it was necessary," he told Reuters news agency.